Hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today I wanted to talk to you one more time about the Spinnaker 49er class uh, yachting timer watch. Now I've got a different one to show you here today, guys. The one behind you in the in the background there, the gray and yellow one. I actually have another video of that one up, and I will put a link to it down below. But I also have this model number being SP5049-05. Uh, this one is the dash zero four model, and the dash um, the the uh, dash is basically indicating the color variation on this watch. So this watch, as I said in my original video, is based on a partnership between Spinnaker watches and the 49er sailing class um, uh, yachting of yachting racing. So the 49er class is a really, really cool um, setup. It's two-man teams generally racing in dinghy class boats out on the open ocean. So it's very grueling, very tough. And so Spinnaker came up with a watch to kind of celebrate that and to um, just be part of the, the, the timekeeping of, of this yachting class. It's just a really, really cool watch. So guys, this is a full chronograph and yachting timer with multiple alarm functions and multiple timing functions on it. There's a whole lot you can do with this watch. This watch, um, as you guys can see here at the four o'clock position, does have a date window, okay? Um, very well made, very well put together watch. Your standard hands as well as your chronograph hands there Watch works as a standard chronograph, as you can see. Very cool setup. You can also do split timing with this watch to where if you stop your second hand um, to measure a certain thing, you can go ahead and start it again here and it will jump back to where it was doing its timing. You can stop it and reset here, okay? So in my previous video, I told you guys the hands, you can line up the hands on these watches. So I did, I went ahead and read the instructions or I found the instructions as you guys can see the hands line up perfectly on both of these watches, which is a really cool setup. Um, this is, a, I'm pretty sure this is a Seiko yacht timer movement, so it's a very faithful, very well put together movement on this watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this and show you some of the other features that this watch has in this yachting timer mode here. And I did show some of this in my first video, so if you guys wanna go back and watch that. So I've got it set for the standard chronograph, which I showed you. If you guys see in the mode down there, it moved to alarm, so you can actually set this little sub-dial up here by pushing your bottom button and move it to where you want to set an alarm for, say, in the next 12-hour period. Okay, kind of neat deal there. Then if you go over here, you go to your standard time mode. Here you can go to a timer mode where you can set this for uh, any of the minutes on this dial. You can set it for one minute, two, three, which is a really neat deal. So if you want to just have a timer going for something, you can set it that way. For the yachting timer function, there's a five, a six, and a 10 minute setting. And what those are referring to is about how much time you know before the race is gonna start and you wanna get yourself as close to that starting line um, when they blow the horn or they drop the line for, for the race to actually start. You don't wanna get there too soon and you obviously don't wanna be at the starting line two minutes after everyone else you know, sailed past it. So pretty neat deal there. And back to the chronograph mode. Now, if you guys watch my video, it's really cool because this does have the alarm feature as you use um, that, that timer mode there. As it gets down to the last few seconds, um, I think in the five and the six minute, it starts at six, the six second mark, it'll beep as it counts down. Then the last three, it lets off an alarm. It's a really cool setup. I'll try to show you that here in a minute. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and set this the one minute spot and that should give us enough time to show a couple more features on the watch and then get to hear that alarm because I, I think it's it's one of the coolest features I think on the, the watch having these sounding alarms screw down crown because this watch is 100 meters water resistant okay screw down case back also on this watch which is very nice this is, seems to be like a, coal, a gold PVD coating on the case, but they've just done a really nice job with the polishing underneath the beveled edges here. I love the polish on the bezel on this watch. Very nicely done. This is a 24 millimeter lug opening on this watch. Uh, I don't really see people changing the band too much as this rubber band is super, super comfortable, almost like a silicone style band and works really well with the watch. You do have the sign spinnaker buckle up here, which is also this nice gold PVD coating. Very well put together watch. Love the uh, red on the button up here at the uh, two o'clock position. There's something really cool about it. Got the wave finish on the dial there, guys, just like the other one did. This basically just being different because of the color configuration and stuff like that. And I love this little sub dial at 12 o'clock. 
Now check this out, guys. Basically lets you know it's time to start racing. So these watches are available, guys, at the Spinnaker website now. You can go check them out. I will leave a link at the bottom. Um, they run an MSRP of $340, but you guys can use the OFD30 code at checkout to re receive 30% off of that price. So you'll get this watch at a really, really great deal, under $300, no problem. Guys, go to the website and check out Spinnaker's new yacht yachting timers. They're a 49er class yachting timers. These are, like I said, celebrating the... Um, the sponsorship or the partnership between Spinnaker watches and this 49er sailing class. Definitely going to be a watch that you're not going to see a whole lot of out there um, and very well put together. I mean, I really like the way, you know, this isn't a, just a painted bezel. As you guys can see, these are actually in the bezel. Um, just really, really well done. I mean, they could have just painted these on here and stuff like that, but the way they're etched into the bezel and then filled like that, this appears to be like an aluminum um, bezel that's been... Um, etched out or, or something like that and then they've actually filled in the gold color there so just extremely extremely well done at this price point guys so definitely go check them out definitely look at what else they have there on the Spinnaker website actually that code OFD30 you can use for any watch that you see on the website that you like so go ahead and check them out I will leave a link at the bottom guys all right guys if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel please do please do thanks guys